Okay, so today we're going to talk about the broadside. Is it good? Hey guys, come and join us at twitch.tv slash teamvash. We stream 18 plus hours a day and we're the most active Save the World streamers on the planet. So come and join us and be a part of the team. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a cool little pirate ship. <laughs> Attach your launcher. Cannibals go boom. Basically, this is just a modified um, wall dart trap. It's a, It pretty much works exactly the same. Fires three. Uh, well, triggers from three, three away. Uh, can shoot up to five away. These things will ricochet and bounce and pierce and hit everything. So it'll bounce off of walls, off of floors. Uh, it'll bounce all over the place. And whatever whatever the cannonballs go through, they will do damage to. So if uh, the best way to fully utilize this particular trap is definitely within an enclosed trap tunnel. So fully enclosed. They walk in. It shoots and it bounces off walls and it just goes back and forth and just like hits everything. The smaller the area, the more condensed the area, the more effective these will be, the more it'll ricochet around in a circle and just completely like obliterate any enemies within its within its area of effect. So um, this is by no, by no means a top tier trap. This is definitely not better than the wall darts. Um, it, it can do more damage. Uh, it can also do less damage. Uh, it kind of is a little bit of luck depending on the bounce, depending on whether or not it hits the targets. But uh, it is very, very fun, uh, thematically hilarious, uh, f like entertaining, so entertaining to watch, to be a part of. Um, so, you know, c the, the fun factor combined with the um, being in a, an effective, useful trap. Um, and what's more than that is it's actually very cost effective. This is a planks, mechanical parts and powder. So planks mechanical parts and powder trap making it much much easier to craft than the wall darts which take nuts and bolts so nuts and bolts as you probably well know is a lot more expensive than planks also uh something to be aware of is the fact that if we ever get a horde mode again like the frost knight this would be one of those traps that you can make infinite of because it's not eating into your gas trap your your gas trap materials uh, the only the only you you share the the powder the powder is the shared material between the gas trap and this trap here but this one doesn't doesn't share the herbs doesn't share the bacon doesn't share the nuts and bolts so this is a a great trap that has synergy because of the difference of material cost whereas the wall darts you know wall darts are really good too in that way as well so uh when you're when you're looking at using different traps for different things you know, it's nice to have different material costs for all the different traps. And this one definitely has its own material cost. It's got, you know, different than, than most of the other traps. Each trap is a little different. Some of them are the same, but this one is definitely going to have its place just because it's uh, because of the setup of its cost. So super fun to play. Very, very effective. It's a, it's a fun, very niche though. Uh, it requires you to use a very specific strategy for it to be effective. So um, high skill play, which is awesome, you know, easy to use, hard to master and uh, yeah, and thematic. So it's fun, it's thematic, it's effective, and it is, uh, has, a, has a, a cool crafting cost that is not going to hurt you. It's not like um, using up any quartz or using up, um, you know, bacon or like any of the, like the really rare materials. All of these materials are super, super, super easy to get. Break trees, break cars, break rocks. Done. Super easy. So the best uh, perk setup for this particular trap, if you want to achieve the maximum amount of damage possible, is physical, crit rate, crit to damage, damage, reload speed, and of course, building health to make sure those walls don't break. Also, you could put durability if you feel like your traps are going to run out of durability, but typically that's not an issue. So... That there is the showcase for the best perks uh, for the newest trap to come out with the pirate event. Oh Alright, so there we go. So we got the cannon traps. So the best way to use these is to use them in an enclosed area like a trap tunnel, which we have done. We've put them in the corner so they're going to shoot all the way across. They trigger from three away just like a wall dart. So because we have the angled floors too, it's going to cause them to ricochet all over the place. And they're going to just smash everything. Now these are by no means... A top tier trap. 
These are by no means better than the wall darts, but they're fun, and in the right situation, they can bounce around and do amazing, amazing damage. If you get a little lucky, and they actually bounce and ricochet in the right way and hit enemies multiple times, um, they can do horrifying amounts of damage, and it's highly entertaining. So... The shelter is now stronger. All right, we got one module left, and then uh, we get to showcase the uh, the full power of <laughs> the like cannons. Well, oh, I'm gonna even go. I'm gonna go with one extra. We're gonna put four more in here. For a larger attack. Get ready. There we go. Installation resuming. I picked up I picked up a bunch of brick. Very cool. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hilarious. Here they come. Defend the shelter. Okay, here they come. I got one more side to do. Oh, it's the side they're coming to. There it is. Okay, guys. Get ready. <laughs> you don't have to shoot a single thing. You just have to hide inside and watch the cannons go completely crazy. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be just cannon madness. That's right, they, they penetrate multiple targets, so it doesn't matter how many enemies walk in. They, they're just going to like, whatever they hit, they hit. They're just going to keep on smashing. It's fine, the lobbers won't be able to do anything. These are 111 one smashers, these guys are going to get decimated. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. They have no chance. These things are going to just absolutely maul them. Well, keep in mind, I'm using a lot of them too, right? And they're 130s. These are 130, 130 traps against 111 smashers. Oh, you broke my floor. How dare you. Did he just break one of my traps? How dare you. These walls aren't made for fighting. Hey buddy. Boom! Get wrecked. Hey, don't be shooting. What do you think you're doing? Get out of here. I don't want to see any guns firing. This is cannons only, bro. Cannons only. Fire everything. Oh whoa! Punch the roof. And the cannons hit through the shield. That's Oh, he'll get killed. Just watch. They did. Sixty seconds until shelter online. I'm expired than Marty. The life of the party. Oh. Globe Trotter Land Stander. I'm the OG Outlander. <laughs> oh my gosh.
All right. <laughs> That's it. Get wrecked. This shelter is now ready for action. Oh man, cannonball madness. <laughs> that means. <laughs> Oh, that's so beast mode. So beast mode. All right, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, please. And comment down below if there's any other videos you'd like me to make. Catch you guys next time. So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single morning starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel. So come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Vash. Thanks, guys.